we've been having some problems with uh, what I think is a result of high water pressure. Um, our pipes bang a lot and um, just kind of randomly when we're not using any water, um, you can hear some noises in them. So I discovered today that we have a pressure reducing valve on our water supply. Um, so the water comes in from the city. On the left here, there's the main shutoff valve. Um, and then we have a um, spigot here. And then back there, um, that is a cash Acme um, pressure reducing valve. Um, so you can adjust this um, piece on the top, and this nut on the top, to um, increase or decrease the water pressure. Um, but before we do that, um, I need to know um, what kind of water pressure we're dealing with. And also, um, just for curiosity's sake, I'd like to know um, what kind of water pressure is coming in from the city. So I um, purchased a um, Watts um, water pressure test gauge at um, Home Depot and just about $10. And so I'm gonna install it here and um, we're just gonna see what kind of water pressure the city is giving us. Okay, so I have this installed um, and I just have a towel here because this connection leaks. Uh, I haven't gotten around to replacing it yet. So we're gonna turn on here and that's not even all the way open. Um, you can see we're sitting right at 100 um, PSI. So that is a lot. Um, normal house would be uh, like 45 or 50. Um, so now we know um, I'm in Kansas City, Missouri, have KC water, so we know that they're uh, giving us about 100 pounds. So now I need to figure out what the water pressure is on the other side of the pressure reducing valve. All right, now I'm out in front of my house at a spigot. Um, my basement is drywalled, so I don't have anywhere to uh, connect this um, past the water pressure reducer. Um, so this pipe, while it's a bit of a walk, um, it's actually only probably 15 feet of pipe um, from where I was before. So I'm just gonna turn the water on and we'll see what kind of pressure we have. All right, uh, so right now we're sitting at uh, right about 63, 64. And I'll mention um, now that um, red um, dial, um, measures the highest um, point um, this device measures. So a lot of people um, leave this on overnight or for a couple days um, to um, check for any spikes. Um, not gonna worry about that um, today. I just wanna get the, the standard pressure regulated. So I'm gonna try to get that down um, to about 50, um, which is gonna require a little bit of running back and forth. All right, so I'm back in the basement and we're going to adjust um, this nut. It seems a little backward to me because you actually um, extend it um, and turn it counterclockwise um, to reduce the pressure um, and turn it down um, to get it closer um, to increase the pressure. So I'm just gonna count how many turns I do here um, to have a little um, bit of reference. So I'm going to try four turns, then we'll go see what the water pressure is outside. So again, I want, um, I think um, 60 is a little high, 50 will probably be just about right. All right, I'm back outside, and I have turned the water pressure off, and I um, released the pressure that was built up. And you can actually turn this um, dial to get the red um, dial back. So we are going for 50 and I turned it four times in the basement. We'll see what happens. All right, so there's an initial spike, uh, but now we're sitting maybe 56. Let me open it all the way and make sure. So that's pretty good. I might go um, down to the basement and give it one more twist, um, but it's the same, um, same thing I did last time. No need to record that, so I hope that this has been helpful.